Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday morning. How is everybody doing? Hope you're doing great and had a wonderful weekend. And um, welcome to Monday. Hey, it is March and good stuff's happening today. I might have a new niece today. Isn't that great? Um, but pray for because and thoughts going our way and prayers going our way because there's some complications. Hey, good morning, Shelly. Good to see you. And um, today is also my sister Anna's birthday. So people think we're twins, but we're actually 10 years apart. So I'll have to put up a picture of her. I mean, they don't think we're twins, but we look alike. I mean, Shelly would know. She's my cousin. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys are having an awesome day, ready to step into Monday and just get it done, guys. Mondays make the world go round. That's when we get to start cranking and moving and shaking the world. So I just am hoping that you're going to have an awesome week this week, and uh, it's going to be great. So... I wanted to share with you a question. Good morning, Roxanne. Um, in this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, this is by Dale Carnegie, and he wrote this book in 1936, I think, or 38, something like that, 34. Anyway, in the 1930s, hold on, hold on, because I can't say it wrong, 1936, yeah. So he wrote this book in 1936, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And I recently read this book last year, and I thought it was such a good book, what timeless concepts that he presents in this and one of them was that you really have to take interest in people and it's not just like I'm interested in you because you're going to do something for me but people know all about themselves that's the topic that they know best and when you say their name hearing your own name is like the sweetest sound and sometimes we can go through business and life and and work and gym and whatever with relationships and we just forget that there really is a person and a mind and a soul and a body on the other side of that that thing that we see that's their their body and so one of the things that he was really big on is getting to know people and to me that worked um, I had one situation last year where I kind of applied it and it worked really well I went to uh, this difficult client wanted me to go on a site visit and showed up. I had just been reading this book, and it th was actually at a private home, and the wedding was being held at a private home planned from far away and here in Napa, and it was like a friend of a friend or something. And I showed up, and this lady was not very nice to me. She looked like I was like the last person on earth that she wanted to see, and so I was like, oh, okay. So I tried like kind of warming up to her. I tried like calling her by her name and, you know, all these different things just to kind of try to get favor, try to like open up the book, you know, and, and establish a relationship it was not working. And so finally, um, we just, uh, I got to talk to her and finding out that I was her seventh site visit that week, the seventh person that this bride had demanded that me come to her home. And you know, that's not, it's not something that I normally do. Um, but anyway, not after talking about finding that she actually loved running a bed and breakfast, it's a bed and breakfast, but she hated planning a wedding. She was like, I will never do this again. And you know, just opening that up, got just getting to know her as a person helped a lot. But I found lately that there's one question that seems to open people up. And I was getting to know somebody new this weekend, and, and I asked the person, the, the, the dead in question, I said, what do you do for a living? And they said, oh, I'm whatever. And they, then they said, well, what do you do for a living, or what do you do? And I said, well, I'm a photographer. I own a photography business. And you know what, that's the extent of our conversation. There was so much more I wanted to say. I wanted to say like, and I love encouraging people. And you, you know, you should come along on this journey and all of this at homeschool. But I couldn't because it was like a dead end question. So here's the question that we need to start asking people. If we want to dig into their lives, we, here's a great question to start asking them is, tell me about your life. Tell me about your life because that is an open door and people can share these incredible things. I've been trying it. And one, uh, one time I was meeting somebody new. This was at our Propel filming a while back. And I just was using this question to get to know all these amazing ladies. And I said, tell me, tell me about your life. You know, I didn't ask. If I had said, what do you do? She would have said, oh, I ran for Congress last year. It wasn't Congress. It was the Senate or Congress. I think it was Congress. Anyway, she would have said, oh, I ran for, I'm a politician probably what she said I ran for Congress last year but instead I said tell me about your life and she's like well I'm into politics and I just ran for the Congress I didn't win but I'm so excited to run again and she's like and I served with George Bush for six years and you know this that and the other and like she opens up this whole dialogue 
about politics and what she does and who she is. And it was just such a perfect, I was like, this is so amazing. And then even the Uber driver, um, you guys are not going to believe this. I asked him, I asked him, so tell me about your life. I'm sorry. I'm having like a little technical difficulty. He, I said, tell, tell me about your life. And he's like, he said, well, I moved to California a month and a half ago and I was engaged and we moved here. And then I found out my, my wife or my fiance was cheating on me. And so we broke up and now I'm here just trying to make a living driving this Uber car. He's like, and then he goes on, you guys are not going to believe this story. He's like, I immigrated from Cuba when I was five years old and I lost my mom on the way over. And he's telling me this story, you guys, I'm not joking. And he goes in to proceed this story of how his mom got eaten by sharks on the way. And he's telling me the whole story. And I'm just sitting in the back seat, like, speechless. You know, like, are you kidding me? You know, and it was so amazing just to learn about this person's life and how they overcame all these obstacles and stuff. So I would just encourage you, you know, don't ask, when you're trying to get to know someone, we can just ask these dead end questions. What do you do for a living? And there's like one answer. But instead, ask, how many kids do you have? I have three. You know, blah, 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 blah. But where do you live? I live here. What high school did you go to? Blah, blah, blah. But listen, ask them a question like this. Tell me about your life. You're going to get such a bigger answer. You're going to get so much more depth, and you're going to have such a more of a well-rounded view. So that's it, you guys. Today, as you go out this week, you know, get to know people. Get to know them. Ask, just try it. Ask them, tell me about your life, and see what they say. It might be very interesting. You might find somebody who ran for Congress or somebody who... <laughs> mom got eaten by a shark. You never know what you're going to find when you ask that question. So I hope you don't find anybody that got eaten by a shark. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome week. That's the tip for today. Make sure you're here on Wednesday at 830. Be bringing you another tip to build a strong and healthy life on. I hope you guys have a very blessed week. I saw Stacy and Joel and Nadine. I'm sorry, I was so deep in the story. I forgot to say hi. Nadine and Stacy and Joel, good to see you guys. And I hope you have an awesome weekend. I mean, week. Love you all. And may your minds be fierce and your heart strong and your spirit kind. Bye.